Hey guys, welcome back to Front Seat Driver. My name is Jason. Today's video is a video that I'm not the most excited to make, but I am having to make it regardless. I am selling my 2014 Lamborghini Gallardo, and it is a car that was a dream of mine to own one day. It was actually the Countach back in 1980, the movie Cannonball Run, that got me excited about Lamborghini. From that time on in my life, it was always a dream to own a Lamborghini. I would love to have owned a Countach, and fortunately, that was never able to uh, transpire. Um, but I'm still really excited about the fact that I was able to, uh, to purchase this car a couple of years ago and have a lot of fun uh, making videos and just meeting a lot of great people and having a lot of fun with the car. Um, but man, that Countach, that was the car. That was the dream. My goodness, I'm happy to own the lineage, but that beast, that car with the big giant wing on the back, such a phenomenal car. Absolutely glad to, like I said, have owned a Lamborghini in general. Um, again, met some great people. Lamborghini, back in 2019, Lamborghini Festival, we had a blast there. Met some great people. Met Valentino Balboni from Lamborghini, who worked there for 40 years, retired. Great, humble man. Again, so many great times. Lamborghini Dallas, the guys from Lamborghini Dallas, uh, the, the, the Lamborghini Club Houston, fan, or <laughs> Lamborghini Club Dallas. It's been a long time since I've lived in Houston. I don't know why that even popped up. Anyway, we've had so much fun. Um, anyway, I'm about to go sell this now. I'm going to take you on that journey. Thanks so much and have a great day. All right, guys, this bumpy road is the last road I <laughs> will be driving in the Lambo and I got to tell you last time I was out here I spent a lot of money huge down payment on this car but again it was worth it and so uh, anyway we're about to head back in there now and uh, drop this car off all right guys we're here at Catronio Auto Group where I purchased my Lamborghini Gallardo two and a half years ago and at the time I did not have the established credit history to secure financing on my car but Ken Catronio helped me make that dream come true by securing the financing needed to obtain this car. Absolutely love it. Once again, the Lambo, a dream come true for me. And so thank you to Ken and Catronio. I highly recommend him. Anyway, let's go in and say hello to Ken right now. Hey, What's up, is. Ken? Hey, Jason. Good to see you, buddy. See you, buddy. Welcome back, man. Thank come you, on thank in you. my office. Let's go. Come on. Come on in and have a seat and we'll get started. Appreciate it. All right, so we're gonna do a quick walk around on my former 2014 Lamborghini Gallardo. I'm gonna tell you a couple of things that, it, that just frustrated me. Is number one, the stripes were wrong. From the beginning, the stripes were wrong. It was partially my fault. I sent it over to the, to the vinyl shop with a photo and the photo was wrong. Um, however, what we had discussed is that the vinyl was gonna go on top of the Expel and instead the vinyl went underneath the Expel and it was not easy to flip it, which, you know, I used to do my, my front seat driver in green, white, and red, and then I stopped doing it because I didn't want to do it in red, white, green like the car, but I wanted it to match. So another thing is, even if you have Expel, you can still get damaged, look at that. I don't like, the little gaps in here so I wasn't happy with the work that was installed when they applied the Expel PPF. Uh, I, I do like having it but I don't think it was done as good as other people could do it. New image detail out in Fort Worth. I highly recommend they did my Corvette. Use them. They did a great job. They did the stripes wrong so the, it should be green, white, red but instead it's red, white, green because they wanted to mirror the image that I sent them on the other side. I don't really fault them for that and I'm okay. That really didn't bother me too much but that was one of the issues that I had. But I gotta be honest, after that I absolutely have loved everything about this. Let's look inside though. I guarantee you you're not gonna find a better, cleaner 2014 Lamborghini Gallardo with less miles. When I bought this thing, it had 3,400 miles on it. It's got a little over 7,100. But look at the diamond stitching on this thing. Absolutely incredible. I'm not even kidding when I say I love this car. The videos that I do, pictures that I do, absolutely do not do justice to this. I feel like even a Corvette C8 does not film well. I don't think it looks as good in video as it does in person. And I will agree 1000% that this car is very much the same. This thing looks so much better in person than it does in any of the videos. When I, when I take it to the gym and I'm up on the higher level looking down at it, I absolutely just am amazed. It's so low and sleek, 
such a beautiful car but this is the last time i will probably see this car so anyway that will do it for right now Right, guys real quick I wanted to show you why I sold the Lamborghini uh, my wife and I are looking to move to the Dominican Republic at least we think in a couple of years we're gonna go out there in a few months and take a look at some houses and just really kind of get a feel for the area I've watched tons and tons of videos on YouTube about life in the Dominican the area so, you know, it's pros, it's cons. It definitely has some cons, but it's also got a lot of upside. This is one particular house that I really like, and it is in Sosua, in Porta Plata, and this place is amazing. I mean, look at this backyard. Look at this pool. It's got a hot tub. I just love this view. I love all of the palm, the palm tree and all the little palm trees here. It's just such a relaxing environment. There's a gated subdivision in the Dominican. This is an outside sitting area for you. It's just, I mean, it's such a, an incredible place. It's got the whole little kitchen bar here. Again, another picture of the outside. They really like showing the outside. <laughs> so um, it is a four bedroom. This is a bedroom here and there's a bedroom on the other side. Again, the, the, the bar, the hot tub is right here. And the, again, the pool, all the little sitting area. And I mean, look at this. This is just tranquility to me. Absolute tranquility, peace. Uh, I love the big doors that open up to the outside. It's just incredible. I love that indoor outdoor life. The humidity might be a little bit high, I'm not looking forward to getting back to humidity, but again, this place, this is just one that we're going to look at, but I just absolutely love this. It looks like such a comfortable place. I love, personally, we have dark cabinets now. I like the dark cabinets, the granite countertops. I love the, the, the nice, beautiful table and furnishings that this house actually comes furnished. So it's just such a, a cool looking house. I do love the concrete tile roofs. We install those here in Texas. We use Boral. 
but they're such a, a high quality product and most of the stuff in here from what I've read and heard is really high quality so that's important to me in, in the quality of the house but again there's the outside of the house and it's a gate you know a little gated neighborhood so I'm super excited by that here's just some pictures of the beach area along in here Sosua and Cabarete is not far away Samana's down the way not too far um, this is the east coast uh, you can go or the north coast I apologize the east coast has like Punta Cana and other big resort areas but I mean look at this beach and look at this water I, I just absolutely love it just looks like such a wonderful place to to spend uh, some years <laughs> so uh, anyway that's just to give you a little bit of an idea on in part on why I sold the Corv uh, sorry the Lamborghini but I think it's well worth it you know dreams change goals change as you get older and while I'd still love to have a Lamborghini um, other goals Anyway, that's going to do it. Uh, by the way, this is one of our favorite views. I am looking very forward to going there, which we are again in a few months. And I don't have that open. I tell you what, before I close out this video, I'm going to find that. And we're going to add that to it. But where we're staying when we go to the Dominican, I'm really excited about that too. It's in the subdivision that we're looking at. Um, anyway, let's pull that up real quick. All right, guys, let's take a look at the Airbnb that we're going to be staying at. It's actually really, really cool. I like this one a lot. I mean, look at the beautiful interior. And this place, you could actually have the same place built in the subdivision that we're looking. And uh, take a look. I really like this pool area. You can swim up and sit at the little bar at the pool. And you can look out into the beautiful, basically the, <laughs> you know, the, the very picturesque trees in the background. You got a hot tub up here on the second floor. And it's just such a really nice place. Pool in the background. I mean, look at this view right here. I just absolutely love that. I mean, what a fantastic place to stay. And I really like being elevated and being able to look out. This is not the biggest. I think this is a three bedroom. You can get three bedroom, four bedroom, six bedrooms out of here, whatever you want built. I mean, it's a nice big house in the background. It's got the tile roof again. I like the modern look, but I really like the Spanish style look as well. But this is a pretty cool uh, villa that they have available, so we are looking forward to it. I will let everybody know what it looks like here when we go, because I will be filming basically the whole, not the whole vacation, but parts of the vacation for videos. And so if anybody's interested, be looking for that to come up here in a few months. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's video, and I hope everybody has a great week. If you enjoyed this, if you made it this far, please hit that like and subscribe button, and hope everybody has a great day. Thanks so much for watching.